is good y'all you dig what i'm saying welcome back to it again another episode of j.i productions i just got to the crib from work and my boy lester hit me up and said let's go to a meet now i ain't started my car all day i actually took my girl's car um to work so i'm gonna get you guys a true car start in the garage tonight. <laughs> it's gonna be nasty it's good I literally just took the time to detail this car and now it's completely covered in bugs because I went to Frankie's ranch for his birthday yesterday like bugs everywhere man it's upsetting I just watched this all stupid that's all it is so I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the whip and uh let's roll that intro get straight into this video man you do what I'm saying It's your boy J.I. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. Yeah. What is good, y'all? You do what I'm saying? Welcome back to you again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. And I'm back at it again with another banger for y'all. Today, we're going to a car meet. It's Sunday, fun day. Charger in the background going crazy. You know the Mopars. But, you know, we got Mamba. With the new Demon Eye, if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll put a card up, make sure y'all check it out. I'm mad upset because I literally just washed my car, but Frankie, shout out to my boy Frankie, it's his birthday today. Yesterday we went up to his ranch and you see the aftermath. So many bugs, dude. It's ridiculous. It's so bad. So bad. And then it's like all on the mirror with it too. I swear I just watched this car. It's so upsetting, but it's okay because huge shout out to my guys over at Hydro Celix sent me over a fat kit. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a card up. Make sure you go check it out. I'm telling you because I'm giving you guys a promo code to the starter kit. The ceramic coating starter kit. You feel me? And all you gotta do is pay shipping. So make sure y'all go check them out. Go check out that video. I'll put the card up. J.I. Squad, bro. Simple. That's the code. question is when are you going back to the track okay bro I'm gonna be honest with y'all I'm gonna keep it a buck I definitely have been wanting to get back on the track um, I want to run Mamba with the current setup before I get the car retuned just to see 
how much of a gain I'm gonna get from that tune, you know what I'm saying? So definitely we'll be going to the drag strip here very soon. I wanna say I'm gonna try to get out there next week. I'm not 100% sure though. We're gonna see how it goes. And I might be able to, it's just now that I'm in class at night, everybody goes to the drag strip Friday nights and I'm in school. So it's like, I can't, I can't make it out there. But that is something that I definitely want to do is get back onto the track, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's been a fat minute. A fat minute. And I want to see what mom was talking about. Okay, next question. When are you getting wheels? <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to say this just to let you, everybody know, public service announcement type. Because I get this question so many times. Okay, the wheels, man. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. The reason why I haven't gotten wheels yet is because I haven't found a set that stands out to me. You know what I mean? Like, let me put it to y'all like this. When I had Hazel, Hazel's Z28, the bronze Z28, I knew I wanted those wheels before I even had the car. You feel me? I like, I saw those wheels, and I was like, damn, if I get them in this color, it'd be so different. Doesn't nobody know? Nobody has them in bronze. That's going to be different. Plus, the black on bronze is going to be com a complete game changer. And that's exactly what you want when you're a YouTuber in the automotive world. Not even just the automotive world. When you're a YouTuber in general, you want your content to stand out of the crowd. You want your content to be different. That's how, you know what I mean, you get people to come in, come to your channel. You know what I'm saying? Come watch what you're doing. Come see what you're doing because it's different. Not everybody's doing it so they can't just watch their normal their normal YouTuber to get that content because you're the only one that's putting it up. Now, with that being said, there are some three-piece wheels that I've custom built and I want to get. However, it's going to take a minute to get them here with chipping so I decided to just focus on the performance aspect of the car. Um, you know, the Lanta Pedder is getting the exhaust set up out the way um, and getting the car really dialed in for the track and stuff like that. So that's why I haven't gotten wheels yet. Y'all just stay patient. They're coming. Are you willing to sell your headlights? Interesting. I mean, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Lighting Trends is a very interesting company to work with. products are not bad once you got them like all dialed in and stuff like that as you guys see my halo lights however it's just i don't know man i'm i'm low-key itching towards going in a different direction um as far as the headlights go i'm really leaning towards getting the six gen conversion with the rgbw flow series function on the little eyebrow I don't know though I'm still debating because you know the people people charge an arm and a leg to get those made we're talking like upwards of a thousand dollars um and my headlight setup is you know it's pretty much up there as well because you're getting a full headlight setup the DRL the Demon Eye the extra halo like you know what I mean it's all built everything's already put into the headlight so it's like Whenever you go to resale something like that, you know you're not gonna get, you know what I mean, your money's worth. You know you're not gonna get um, a good amount of money back as far as the return goes. So it's just like, I don't know, if the price is right, you know what I mean, and the person is like genuine and has cash in hand or is ready, you know what I mean, and can go pull the cash out or whatever the case may be, then yeah, I'd sell them. But, <laughs> That being said, if the price is right, then yeah, I'm willing to let them go. If not, then it is what it is, you feel me? Alright, I'll probably answer one more question, and then that'll be it for this video. I know it's a short one, you know what I mean? This is not how I was expecting it to go. I definitely thought this video would have been, you know, the car.
pardon me, but you gotta work with what you got, man. So that's what we're doing. Y'all just bear with me, man. Um, because I got some bangers lined up, especially the next J.I. review. That's definitely a good video to watch. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that one. But let's go ahead and see what the next question is. Would you ever sell Mamba? Ooh. It's like, it's like when you take a cup and there's a hole halfway, at the halfway point of that cup and you're trying to fill a cup up with water. It's not going to go past halfway because no matter how much water you put in that cup, as soon as it gets to that halfway point, it's just going to start coming out of that hole. You know what I mean? It's just going to start, the water's just going to start leaking from that hole. So that's how it was for me with Hazel um, at the point that I sold the car, it was just like, it, that's, this is the best thing for me to do financially, is to go ahead and sell this car and get a new canvas, a new platform to start um, modifying for you guys. And plus, it was a V6, you know what I mean? I had already did majority of everything that I could do to the V6 without boosting it. So it was just like, uh, I don't know, it was time to let it go. Nothing, you know, nothing against it. If, this is not a question that was on there, but would I buy it back if I could? Hell yeah, I'd buy it back and I would redo the entire, like the entire bill. I would redo the paint on it, redo the engine bill, you know what I mean? Probably slap, slap a turbo on there or a supercharger, one of the two, and chill with it how it is and use that as my daily, build Mamba up, you know, slap a fat cam in this joint and use this as my track monkey, but you know what I mean? I have no idea where the hell Hazel is right now. <laughs> um, so, with that being said, man, that's really going to wrap up this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section. So, my camera ended up dying. <laughs> of course, I didn't charge it. I completely forgot. I just be moving and grew it, man. But anyway, um... If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.